Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's edition of the program, Meet the Optometrist at Peacock. I am your favorite optometrist, Dr. Eze. Today's edition will be centered on the common myths about your eyes. First among these, this evening that we'll be talking about is children are too small to wear glasses. Some parents, especially in developing countries, in rural communities, even in urban centers, you encounter these parents whose children are suffering from refractive conditions. After prescribing corrective lenses, the parents will vehemently reject the offer on the grounds that their children are too small to start wearing glasses. What are the effects? When you deny your child of these corrections, definitely it's going to affect his academic performance because, one, he is not seeing well. He will lose interest in reading because each time he tries to read, he will either have headaches and other asthenopic complaints. They will lose interest in reading. You are the reason behind that your child's poor performance in school. Secondly, or another point, as an adult, I don't want to wear glasses because once you start wearing, you started for life. Wow. This gets me thinking. Because when you get to 40, our crystal lenses get start losing their contractor power. And this will in turn make it difficult for your eyes or for the lenses to readjust or alter their shapes in order to enable you to do near work. At this instance, at this point, people will start finding it difficult to read. They complain about reading tiny prints, especially in the dark with poor light. They will tend to move their eyes, their hands away, the reading materials away from their eyes in search of light. People rush to their children or the younger population, asking them to help to read off things from their phones or manuals or even labels on drugs. My dear, running away from this will not change anything. Rather, it will get to the point where no matter how you stretch your hands, you will not see anything unless it's good. So get your eyes. That pair of glasses as advised by your doctor. There is another practice. God. You see people using urine, sugar solution. Some even go as far as applying breast milk on the eyes for care of conjunctivitis. You are using a bigger devil. You are using a bigger thing to suppress something which would have... Please, run away from some of these harmful practices. It's not good for your eyes. Forget about what it will cost you. You can never quantify the damages you are doing or you will do to your eyes with just a little token you give to your optometrist or any eye care practitioner out there. Run away from all these practices. Reshape your thoughts about all these things. They never exist. They don't exist. They are all myths. Thank you. We've come to the end of the program for today. See you same time, same channels. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Meet the Optometrist at Peacock on Facebook page Dr. Eze. We have a Facebook group, Meet the Optometrist at Peacock. You can as well reach us on our blog, Wide Mouth Ninja on Facebook, W-I-T space M-O-U-T-H space N-A-I 
JA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.